The more you get into surfing, the more you realize how important the foundations are. Aspects like speed generation, proper bottom turns, proper stance are crucial to unlock your surfing potential. Here are 15 technical tips that will help you surf better. They apply to most maneuvers and you will relate to them for years to come. Riding the wrong surfboards can slow your progression down like nothing else. At an intermediate level, you should make sure you understand elements such as the surfboard's volume, the surfboard's rocker, and the surfboard's dimensions. As you get to a more advanced level, you might want to read more about surfboard fin setups, bottom contours, and tail shapes. Your progression will be much quicker with the proper equipment for your level, for your weight, and for the conditions that you're surfing. Often, intermediate surfers focus mostly on their technique, but underestimate their positioning on the wave. Where you are surfing on the wave is very important. As you progress to get more comfortable with different parts of the waves, you start to realise nothing happens far out on the flat shoulder. Stay close to the pocket, generate speed and try to do a manoeuvre on the steeper part of the shoulder. Even after years of practice, most surfers still have room for improvement on their bottom turn. A proper bottom turn is a big part of the difference between a mediocre manoeuvre and a great one. Shift the focus from the manoeuvre itself to how you try to set it up with your bottom turn. You most probably will find ways to improve your surfing drastically. A link for more information on the bottom turn is in the description. Where you look and where you direct your head is where you will go. Lead with your head and keep it centred over your body to ensure proper balance. Notice here, the surfer's head leads his turn. Before his surfboard or body starts turning, his head is already turned towards where he wants to go next. When you start doing turns and cutbacks, you'll notice it goes in this particular order. First, his head and shoulders turn in the direction he wants to go. Then his hips also twist towards that direction and lastly his legs follow. It's a misconception that surfers can turn simply by applying weight on their toes and heels. Unlike snowboarding or wakeboarding, turning a surfboard requires much more body twisting to do a turn. Compressing the lower body. Bending the knees gives you mobility for turns, balance, and it helps you absorb shock when trying different maneuvers. This is Israel Barona, one of the best surfers in Ecuador. Watch closely how his lower body stays compressed consistently, both during his bottom turn and his top turn. It's not just what you do on a wave, but where you catch it in the first place. If you're catching waves far from the peak on the flatter shoulder, it might actually be impossible to do anything interesting on the wave. Catching the wave near the peak usually puts you in a faster and steeper part of the wave, where you can generate more speed and practice more interesting maneuvers. One of the biggest difference between intermediate advanced surfers and beginner intermediate surfers is their ability to create their own speed. Surfers do this by throwing their arms forward, decompressing and compressing up and down the face of the wave and surfing from rail to rail. For a complete video and article about how to generate speed, look at the link in our description below. Paddling for bigger, more powerful waves means you need a good paddle technique. Make sure your elbows are high when your hands enter the water and that you go as deep as possible with long, powerful paddle strokes. For more paddling tips, see the description below. Moving your feet is a game changer. If you need speed, move your feet forward on the board. If you want to do a sharp turn to change direction, put your back foot far on the end of the traction pad. Learning from more experienced surfers around you. In the water, look at better surfers and analyse their technique. 
Don't just sit there waiting for waves, look and learn. As you progress, learn to use your rails. Surfing from rail to rail means that your surfboard goes from one edge to the other. This helps you do a ton of manoeuvres and helps you with speed generation and bottom turns. Next time you watch any surf videos, notice how much professionals surf on their rails compared to how much time they spend riding their board moving flat on the water. It's all in your head. Give yourself a goal before entering the water and work to achieve it. Don't forget to visualise yourself doing it. One of the most important progression tips is to see it before you do it. What you are doing on the wave and what you think you're doing is often quite different. Having someone take photos and videos of your surfing can help you spot your bad habits. From our experience, seeing yourself surfing on photos and videos is probably the most efficient way to progress. A surf coach or an experienced surf friend could help you analyse your pictures and videos. This way you'd have a better chance in identifying the most important technical adjustments you need to do. By watching surf videos, you can also compare your surfing and correct some of your techniques by visualising yourself doing manoeuvres properly. As with most things in life, you get good at what you love to do. Taking things too seriously can take the fun out of surfing and hurt your progression. Life is too short. Do like Rex Calderon and enjoy your time in the water. If you enjoyed this video, click on the link in the description below to get access to hours of surfing tutorials. Our online courses will increase your enjoyment in the water and help you surf better, faster.